वेलकम टू द रॉयल कैलकुलेटर टर्फ क्लब कैलकुलेटर रेसेस स्प्रिंग मीटिंग सेकंड डे सैटरडे 11 फरवरी 2023 रेस प्रीव्यू द फर्स्ट इवेंट ऑफ द आफ्टरनून इज द डफलेटिंग टी ट्रॉफी फॉर हॉर्सेस रेटेड 21 टू 46 रेटेड 1 टू 26 एलिजिबल टू बी रन ओवर अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 1200 मीटर्स फर्स्ट वन ऑफ यू लुकिंग एट इज वेरोनिका कप लेट्स स्टार्ट फॉर वेरोनिका फर्स्ट अप इन रेस नंबर 33 वेयर इट वेंट ओवर 1200 मीटर्स मेड एवरी पोस्ट अ विनिंग वन द स्टार्ट वी आर लुकिंग एट इज फ्रॉम रेस नंबर 56 But Veronica went over 1100 meters was in six spot as the horses entered the home straight then weakened and eventually finished on 7th the winner here was Blue Origin Number 3 is D Salam Rocky Bhai Cup love starts for D Salam Rocky Bhai after switching base from Southern India first up in race number 54 it went over 2000 meters and finished on 5th behind Odin in its last start in race number 79 where it went over 1100 meters Took the turn in ninth spot, made up some late gains, and eventually finished on sixth. The winner here was Castillo. Number four is Trebia. Trebia has had couple of starts. First up in race number sixty-six, it finished on eighth over to fourteen hundred meters behind Jawai. And its next start, the one we are looking at in race number sixty-nine, where it went over twelve hundred meters, was in third spot as the race came to a boil, then was in a pack, and eventually finished on fourth. The winner here was Mescal. Number 5 is the Mentalist. Three starts for the Mentalist. First up in race number 8, it finished on 6th behind Southern Lad and race number 34, it finished on 8th behind Regency Smile in its last start where it went over 1100 meters was in 8th spot as they entered the home straight then uh, made up a placing and eventually finished on 7th. The winner here was Mount Reno who won that race by 2 and a quarter lengths. Number 6, Shivalik Silk Shivalik Silk has had five starts, couple of eye-catching starts for Shivalik Silk. First up, it in race number forty-seven, it finished on second behind Sun God in his last start. Shivalik Silk was perhaps the fastest-moving animal into the last hundred meters, where it came flying and finished on second. The winner here was Doctor Doom. Number seven is Sporting Trainer. Three starts for Sporting Trainer. First of it, one in race number thirty-eight over twelve hundred meters, beating High Spirit in his next start. It was a little slowly out of the gates and eventually finished on second behind Mess Kalinas. Last start, it was again slow out. Was in sixth spot as they entered the home street, made up a placing, and eventually finished on fifth of seven runners. The winner here was Tycoonist. Number 8 the Sun God has had three starts first up it finished on 6th in race number 38 behind Sporting Trainer then it shocked everybody in race number 47 where it came out and won beating Shivalik Silk in his last start Sun God was in 7th spot as they entered the home straight made a wide move on the wide outside as you can see in the navy blue and the red epaulets and eventually finished on 5th the winner here was Yaz who made every post a winning one Moving on to the second event of the afternoon, the Seren Nine Cup for horses three year old only to be run over a distance of fourteen hundred meters. Number one is Gail Dali out of Elusive Legend. First up, it won in race number thirty one, where it got the measure of money talks. This run we are looking at, where it uh, won this race by about three and a half lengths. Gail was scheduled to start in race number eighty four, but was withdrawn as it was very fractious to and refused to be stolen. Number two is contribute. Rodrigo Connor out of Cocinella. One start for contribute. Where in race number fifty, it took the turn in third spot, then made up some lead gains, as you can see in the white and pink stripes down the center, and eventually came out and finished on second. The winner here was Meropi, who has won again. Couple of runners we are looking at. Number three, fighter pilot, Phoenix Star out of volatility. And number eight, which is El Maraz, what's the script out of Agassiz? Fighter, fighter pilot took the turn in six spot, then weakened and eventually finished on eighth of nine runners. Number eight, El Maraz, who was racing in eighth spot, made up some late eye-catching movements and finished on fifth. The winner here was Dedicate. Three runners went up against each other in race number 61, where they re-oppose each other. Marquiato is number four. Sanas Paraquam out of Arabica. 
Macchiato, who took the turn in fourth spot, came out and eventually finished on third. Number six, Salar, Planetary out of Fink Club, was in uh, seventh spot, then finished on eighth. Last of eight runners, number seven was Aleta. Aleta, who's out of Circus, a lot of lyrical lass, was in sixth spot, did not make any further improvement, finished on sixth. The winner here was La Dominate, who won that race by about five and a half lengths. Number nine is Sandrin. The Mount of Gaurav Singh. Couple of starts for Sandrin in a small field in race number 31. It finished on third. In its last start, the one we are looking at, it went over 1200 meters, was in fourth spot, did not make any further improvement, eventually finished on fourth of five runners. The winner here was Kind of Magic, who won that race by three and a quarter lengths. We move on to the third event of the day, the Philippines Cup for horses rated 21 to 46, rated 1 to 26, eligible to be run over a distance of 1600 meters. First up, we got three runners we are looking at. Number one, Magnite. Couple of eye-catching starts for Magnite. This is the last two starts, the one we are looking at, and the one before that where it finished on third. Behind Agustin Nicarachi, Magnite in this race was in a favorite position as they entered the home straight and eventually finished on third. Number four was Dubai Star. Dubai Star had a good start early part of the season in race number 46 where it finished on third. And this start, Dubai Star was a little slowly out and eventually finished on last of seven runners. Number 10 is a Free Spirited. Spirited was running here after a long layoff and finished on second last. The winner was Tycoonist who won that race by about four lengths. Number two is Summer Rare. Summer Rare, this one we are looking at is from the current season where Summer Rare uh, first up finished on fifth in race number 12 where it finished on fifth behind Monteverdi. In his last start, Summer Rare was racing in third last spot as they entered the home street with came up with flying stride and eventually just fell short by a shot at the winner here was dream chaser number three is dream station couple of starts for dream station after switching base from hyderabad first up it finished on eighth and race number 70 behind full of grace and his last start dream station was in last spot as they entered the home street eventually finished on a team last and the winner here was Monteverdi who won that race by about two and a half lengths. Number five is Randolph. Randolph had a start in this season where in race number 27 it was traveling in third spot where it went over 1600 meters and eventually Randolph finished on fourth. The winner here was Magneto who won that race by about two lengths. Number 6 is Rocca, top class out of Zakara. Four starts for Rocca has been knocking on the doors. First up, it finished on second behind Harvest Time in race number 3, then it finished on fourth behind Arrow Point in race number 13, then it finished on third behind Magneto over 1600 meters. In his last start, Rocca was traveling in fourth spot, did not really accelerate, finished on fourth. The winner here was Odin, who won that race by about length and a half. Today, Rocca being ridden by Akshay Kumar. Number 7 is Divine Chakra. Three stars for Divine Chakra. First up, it finished on 7th in race number 1 behind Compliance. Then it finished on 5th behind Sporting Trainers. His last start, Divine Chakra was in 3rd spot. Then into the last 250 meters, took charge and won that race going away from the field. And in 2nd spot was Torinaro. Number 9 is Torinero. Torinero has had 5 stars in the season. It finished on 2nd earlier start behind Divine Chakra. And this start, the one we are looking at in race number 67, was in 8th spot as they entered the home straight, came up with a run towards the inside and took charge into the last 100 meters or so and won that race beating Indian Star into 2nd. We move on to the fourth race in today's car, the Olympia Technology Park car. Four horses rated 41 to 66, rated 21 to 46, eligible to be run over a distance of 1400 meters. First up, we got four runners. Number one was Maktoub, who's had a couple of stars. First up, it finished on fourth in race number 52 behind Regency Smile. Then in this race, in race number 76, it was traveling in third spot weekend and eventually finished on sixth. Number three was D. Your Play Your Way has had four starts as a 
been knocking on the doors first up it finished on second in race number 25 then it finished on third in race number 39 and his next start it finished on third and this start it finished on seven behind monteverdi number four was mandolin mandolin has uh, won a race in race number 48 where it got the measure of divine on in this race it finished on second the winner was monteverdi number five was Sun centurion who's had four starts a couple of fourth effort in this race centurion finished on fifth after traveling in sixth spot for most while Number 2 is Bahulian. Bahulian in race number 10, where it was the favourite, was in 6th spot as they entered the home straight, then came up with a run down the centre but did not really accelerate. Finished on 5th of 8 runners. The winner here was Cape Tanneros, who won that race by about length and a half. Couple of runners, number 6, Rimmel, number 8, Arrow Point, Rimmel who's had uh, five stars in the season. First of it finished on fifth in race number 21, then it finished on third in race number 37, then it finished on second in race number 53. In his last start, Rimmel was in second spot at the end of the home straight, then weakened slightly and finished on third in a close finish. The other runner was number eight, Arrow Point, who was installed the favorite in this race, went over 2,000 meters and eventually got the second place in a photo from uh, Rimmel. Couple of runners, Dubai Gold and number 11 is Dubai Dunes. Dubai Gold has had three starts. First up, it finished on fourth in race number 53 in its last start. Dubai Gold was in sixth spot as they entered the home street, made up a placing and eventually finished on fifth. Number 11 is Dubai Dunes, who's had five starts. His best start was his first start of the season where it finished on second. In this race, Dubai Dunes was in ninth spot as they entered the home street, then weakened and eventually finished on last of 10 runners. The winner here was full of grace, who got the race in the stewards' room. Number 10 is Harvest Time. Harvest Time, one start for Harvest Time in race number 3 where it was in 4th spot as they entered the home straight, then took charge into the last 150 meters or so, then drew away from the field and won that race from the late finishing Roka who finished on 2nd, almost 2.5 lengths behind Harvest Time. We move on to the fifth race of the afternoon, the Ranjit Sena Roy Memorial Sprint for horses rated 61 to 86, rated 41 to 66, eligible to be run over a distance of 1200 meters. First up, we got two runners, number one, New Look, number two, Secret Pearl. New Look has had a couple of starts so far, hasn't really bothered the judges. First up, it finished on ninth and raced number 68 behind the Protector in his last start. The one we are looking at was traveling in fifth spot, then weekend and finished on second last. Number 2, Secret Pearl was the winner in race number 14 where it got the measure of Santana. In this race, Secret Pearl took the turn in 7th spot, came up with a late run down the center and eventually finished on 4th. The winner here was Monfortino who got, a, got the race in a close finish by a short neck. Number 3 is Baid. Baid had one start so far in the season where it was installed the favorite but uh, was traveling in front as they entered the home straight, then weakened and eventually finished on 5th. The winner here was Cape Tanneros who won that race in a very close finish by a nose. Couple of runners, number 4, Delphini. Delphini, couple of stars for Delphini, has been unlucky in both of his two starts. First up, it finished on second to Cape Tanneros by the closest possible margin in his last start. Delphini finished on second to Rising Star after posing like a winner for a while. But then the other run of number 8 is Thousand Words. Thousand Words moved from Bangalore, first start it had on the sea in this track. Was in second spot as the end of the home straight, then weakened very rapidly and eventually finished on last of seven runners. The winner here was Rising Star, who won that race by about half a length. Number 5 is Regency Smile has already completed a hat trick. First, it won in race number 34, beating So So Special, then in race number 51, where it got the measure of Pisa in his last start. The one we are looking at, Regency Smile, went over 1400 meters, was in fourth spot, then took charge into the last 250 meters and won that race by three parts of a length, beating off Presidential. Number 6 is Blue Origin. It was winner in race number 56 where it went over 1100 meters, beat John Lafayette. In his last start, Blue Origin was in 4th spot as they entered the home straight. For a while, it looked good and was challenging the winner, Dr. Doom. But then uh, with the run petered out. Eventually, Blue Origin could only finish 2nd, almost length and a half from the winner, which was Dr. Doom.
Number seven is Faith won the Phillies trial stakes in the monsoon. It went in Bang in Bombay, then it ran fifth in the 1,000 guineas. The run we are looking at is from the 1,000 guineas, where Faith was in eighth spot, then came up with a run and eventually finished on fifth. The winner here was Kings Ransom, who eventually has won the Oaks and second in the Indian Derby. Number 9 is Lucky Chance. Lucky Chance has had 4 starts so far on the Calcutta track. First up it finished on 7 behind Cape Tanoris in race number 10. Then it finished on 4 in race number 14 behind Secret Pearl. Then again it finished on 6 behind Cape Tanoris in race number 23. In this start, Lucky Chance was in 5th spot then uh, made up a placing and eventually finished on 4th. The winner again was Cape Tanoris. We move on to the 6th and feature race of the afternoon, the Queen Elizabeth II Memorial Cup to be run over a distance of 2,800 meters for horses 4 year old and over. The first runner we are looking at is number 1, Psychic Force. Psychic Force has had a couple of stars in this season. First up, it finished on 6th in race number 36 over 1,600 meters behind Jake. In this last start, Psychic Force was traveling in front as the race came to a boil, then Psychic Force weakened and eventually finished on 5th. The winner was 3rd Avenue, won that race for almost length and a quarter. Four runners we are looking at. Number two is Stockbridge, speaking of which out of Cheryl, was a winner in race number 17 earlier part of the season over here, was in fourth spot, stayed on in fourth. Number four, Cliffhanger, three starts for Cliffhanger. This start was in fifth spot when the race came to a boil towards the inside and eventually was traveling towards the inside and finished on seven. Number five, Brotero, who's moved from Western India, the start here was in front, but then when the race came to the interesting part, Botero could only hang on for third spot. The other runner was number six, Man Mandeville, who has won in race number 21. Over here, Mandeville could only finish on ninth after being planted in the gates and finishing on a detached last. Number seven is Arabian Queen, is looking for a hat trick here. Is Arabian Queen won in race number 53, where it went over 1600 meters, got the measure of Rimmel, and his last start went over 1400 meters. Was in second spot as they entered the home stretch, then gone into a battle with Silverita. Eventually got stronger as they got closer to the winning post and won that race by almost half a length. We move on to the seventh race of the day, the Carrying Mines Cup Division One. For horses rated 41 to 66, rated 21 to 46, to be run over a distance of 1,200 meters. We're looking at four runners here. The Flying Eagle, fly, the Flying Eagle was racing in fifth spot. Then, when asked for an effort, finished on third. Number six, Hashtag, Hashtag was racing in sixth spot. Then weakened slightly and eventually finished on eighth. Number seven, Sheer Force, Sheer Force was in front. Was uh, challenging for the lead, eventually weakened and eventually finished on fourth. Number eight, which is Indian Tiger. Indian Tiger was uh, racing uh, in front as they entered the last 300 meters, then weakened very rapidly and finished on sixth. The winner here was Dr. Doom, won that race by length and a half. Number 3 is John Lafayette, 3 starts for John Lafayette, first up it finished on 3rd in race number 24 behind perfect rendition, then in race number 56, 51 it finished on 6th, it was a little slowly out of the gate in that race and the winner there was Reason Smile in his last start, John Lafayette was travelling in 3rd spot, then came up with a run and eventually finished on 2nd, the winner here was Blue Origin and John Lafayette fell short by about half a length. Number 4 is Ghost, who has had quite a few stars in this season. In his last start, Ghost was travelling in 6th spot after being a little tardy out of the gates and eventually finished on last of 8 runners. The winner here was Cold Pursuit, who got that race by about 2 and a quarter lengths. Number 5 is D. My Heart. D. My Heart has had 4 starts so far in his last start in race number 76 where it went over 1400 meters was in 8th spot as the horses turned for home and eventually finished on 8th. The winner was Monteverdi who won that race by almost 2.5 lengths.
Moving on to the 8th and last race of the day, the Caring Minds Cup Division 2 for horses rated 41 to 66, rated 21 to 46, eligible to be run over a distance of 1200 meters. The first runner we are looking at is Abel Love, who came down from Hyderabad. The first start it had on the Calcutta track was in 7th spot as they ended the home straight, then came up with a run and eventually finished on 4th. The winner here was Raisina Star, who won that race by about half a length. Number 3 is Agostini Karachi. Three starts for Agostini Karachi. First up, it finished on fourth in race number 51. In his next start, Agostini Karachi won that race in race number 63 over 1400 meters. In his last start, Agostini Karachi was in seventh spot, came up with a late run, and eventually finished on fourth. The winner was Monteverdi. Number 4 is Star Justice. Three starts for Star Justice so far in this season. First up, it finished on 3rd in race number 9 behind Leonardo. Then it finished on 2nd in race number 30 over 1200 meters to Rising Star. In its last start, Star Justice raced in 9th spot as they ended the home straight, made up only one placing, and eventually finished on 8th of 13 runners. The winner here was Regency Smile. Number 5 is Mescal. Looking for a hat trick here is Mescal. First, it won in race number 44, beating Dr. Doom over 1200 meters. Again, it went over 1200 meters in race number 69 was in 5th spot as they entered the home straight, then pierced through the gap and got that race by almost length and a quarter, beating Sporting Trainer into 2nd. Number 6 is Lagatha, came down from Western India, first start on this season, where in race number 56, it was a little slowly out of the gates, was in 7th spot as they entered the home straight, then eventually weakened and finished on 8th. The winner here was Blue Origin, who won that race by almost half a length. Number 7 is Tamu's Choice. Tamu's Choice so far has had 5 starts in this season. In his last start, Tamu's Choice was in 3rd spot as the horses came into the home straight, kept on battling towards the inside and eventually hung on for the 3rd spot. The winner here was Dr. Doom. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, see you at the races.